What's up, everybody? Hooligan here, bringing you episode four of Would You Rather series. And as I said before, I got another voice on here with me. I got my boy, lead ex guitarist, on the line. What's up, buddy? Nothing much, man. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, just getting this stuff pulled up. Throw that first question at me. You have. Well, I changed it up. Uh, it's, now it's: Would you rather be deaf and have no legs, or be blind and have no arms? Uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna go blind and no arms. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't know. I think I think as a as a disabled person with something like that, you would uh, definitely have to go with living with all the um, opinions you hear people talking about you, and you know you walk in a room or whatever you go into a room, and you know I don't I don't know if I wanted to hear what people had to say about about me. You know, it might it might bring me down. So I'm gonna go with that one. I don't want to hear anybody. That's my, that's my, that's my take on that one. <laughs> so you mean you'd be deaf when have no legs? Yeah, that one. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't judge me. But yeah, I want to be deaf. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm deaf. All right. Uh, what, what do you think of that one? Me, personally, uh, I, I'm going to pick the same one as you simply because... Well, it's kind of a double-edged sword for me. If I couldn't hear the music I played, it would really suck. Mm, okay. But if I didn't have any arms, I couldn't play at all. <laughs> so there's not really a win situation in there for me. But I, I think I'd rather be deaf. I, I like being able to see things around me. And, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Be like, I don't, I don't know, there wasn't, there's never a deaf superhero, so I can't be like a deaf superhero. Uh, yeah, there was it with Daredevil. Daredevil was blonde. Oh, fuck. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got one for you right here. All right. Would you rather strip on a webcam in front of your entire high school, if you were still in high school, or get caught making passionate love to a pie? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I think I would rather strip in front of my entire high school. The reason I say that is because I actually worked as a male stripper at a couple of my uh, female friends' parties, and I got pretty good, you know, I I, I did pretty good, so <laughs> I got a little bit of experience there. <laughs> you did probably, I think I did pretty good. I hope I did pretty good. Yeah, I, was good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to go with the same one. I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make love to a pie at all. I don't want to do anything freaky with a pie. So um, I'm gonna go strip on a webcam. I could get, I could go through that. This wouldn't be a big deal, I guess. You can always lie and say it wouldn't you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just don't show any tattoos or any anything like that. You know, or your face, anything like that. Then, then you're good. All right, let's okay. see. Okay, throw one at me. I got one. Um, would you rather have a one inch penis or have penile cancer? Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the one-inch penis. <laughs> because uh, Asians live... Don't, don't Asians have small penises or something like that? I don't I don't know. Uh, stereotypically, yeah, but... No, well, we're going to go with that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with having a small <laughs> penis. Because if, if you have penile cancer, I think eventually they're going to have to amputate. <laughs> and you're going to have no penis. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to go with the one-inch penis, and I'll live with that. Uh, I would rather have penile cancer and die and, and go through no amputation. <laughs> and die? Does yeah. that kill you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, any kind of cancer can kill you. Yeah, I'm guess. sure that if you had penile cancer and you didn't get it taken care of, that you would have some serious problems there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's spread. I don't know. Lance, look at Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong had, like, four cancers at one time. and Look at him go. Still pedaling yeah. them pedals. Well, he had like testicular cancer, brain cancer, and what is it, bone or spine cancer? I don't know, one of those. He had a couple of them. He was all jacked up. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find another one. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go. Would you rather bang three midgets simultaneously or bang an 800 pound partner? Ooh. <laughs> um. They're all female midgets? 
Uh, that can be. Yeah, sure. I'm going to go with the three little people. <laughs> the three little people? You know what? <laughs> yes, the, the three little people, because I could record that and make some serious money off of it. I have some very sick friends. Yeah, there you go. You can, I guess there's not many videos of that out there. I guess you can make some money off of that. I'm not, I'm definitely going with the same one, because that's huge. 800 pounds is big. That is <laughs> that is worse than morbidly obese. <laughs> I mean, <that's, laughs> I, I couldn't... I don't know, I couldn't do that. That's just definitely... That's it. Like, that's, I don't know if that's a fat roll or I'm actually in there, but it feels so good. That's <laughs> <laughs> just, I wouldn't want to, I should look at that. that. I wouldn't, ever. God. <laughs> okay. This one's for the single people. Um, would you rather have a significant other that doesn't speak or have a significant other that doesn't, doesn't listen? Uh, oh, I'm single, so let's see. I'm gonna go. Okay, if they don't, li- if they listen, do they not speak? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go with that one because they can't <laughs> talk back. <laughs> they can understand what I want, and they can't talk back. <laughs> so it's a win-win situation for me. You ain't gotta hear them. I- Complaining. <laughs> I wish I could pick that one, but I know that if I do and my wife hears this, that I'm going to be <laughs> sleeping on the couch for a week. So seeing how I'm already in this situation, I'm going to go ahead and say I'd rather have the significant other that doesn't listen. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you don't want to sleep on the couch. Let's have a comfortable couch, then maybe you want to, you know, on the couch for a while. Couch is <laughs> <It's> very comfortable. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is sort of a, yeah. Would you rather have all fingernails and toenails removed quickly or deep paper cuts on the webbing between each finger and toe slowly? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, let's see. I think I'd rather have my fingernails and toenails removed very quickly. Mm-hmm. Because if it happens quick, then, you know, you just shoot through the pain real fast, and who needs fingernails and toenails? I mean, that's... <laughs> I, I don't know. I th- <laughs> I'm going to go with the other one, because, yeah, it hurts, but I don't know if I could go, I don't know how long I could go with looking without any toenails and fingernails, for one. And for two, I don't know if the pain would go away that fast. <laughs> Everybody always says if you rip a bandit off pretty fast, it you don't feel it, or I think that, that's a definite lie. It definitely hurts. I mean, that's just I could I could go with the paper cuts. I don't know how you do them slowly because paper cuts really don't work if you go slowly. But I'm gonna take my chances. <laughs> You're gonna be a trooper on that one. You're gonna be a trooper on that one. They did it on Jackass. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah, but they did it pretty fast. I mean, they did it as slow as you can do it. I mean, you can't really do it. Very slow. It just doesn't cut anything. So maybe you get lucky on that. Yeah, maybe. All right. For the rest of your life, would you rather live in a library where books are your only form of entertainment or live in a prison cell where you have access to any channel on TV? Hmm. Uh, can it be like a... A solitary cell? Can I do it myself? Mm, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the prison cell. That's what I gotta do with Big Bubba. You know, trying to rape me or whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's where your mind first went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, when everybody thinks of prison, you think about getting raped or something like getting the shit beat out of you or something of that nature. That's not something like that comes to my head. President equals. Prison equals bad. Yeah, prison equals bad. Don't go to jail. Well, you can go to jail. Don't go to prison. It's two different things. See, I think I would rather do the exact opposite because I I really am not a big fan of television. Like, I like, you know, Family Guy and stupid little shows like that, but there's too much crap on there. Like, I'm going to get so much flack for this. There's too much, like, reality TV, like American Idol and... 
Survivor and all that stuff for me. I, I personally, I could live for the rest of my life happily without ever seeing another freaking episode of the Bad Girls Club. Just, ugh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I watch... I don't read, definitely, so... I, well, I definitely watch some TV. Hell, I, I don't read either, but I'd rather read than watch bad TV. Yeah, I guess. Keep it on Comedy Central the entire time or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be sweet. All right. How far away?